welcome back to my channel today I have a haul for you guys so you know I have been in preparations for my trip to Greece and as a result I did a little bit of shopping because you guys know I live in Boston it is super cold here in Boston and I really do not have summer clothes guys like vast majority of my trips are usually in the winter time I do not like to travel in the high season during the summer because things are really crazy and I don't like when things are very touristy so if you see probably most of my past all of my past travel vlogs happen during the winter or in between winter and summer when the locations are a little emptier and a little more fun but you know Greece you cannot go to Greece in the off season because it's cold and Greece is all about what beaches and boat rides you know and enjoying the sun and laying out by the pool so it really made zero sense to go to Greece in the off season which is why we are going in July which is gonna be crazy crazy touristy but that's the right way to do it right so I wanted to share with you a little bit a few of my purchases I'm not gonna show you everything and I am not gonna try everything on because I don't want to steal my own thunder <laughs> because on my Greece vlog I want to do lots of cute looks to put on my vlog for you guys to get ideas so I hope you're ready because I'm ready I'm gonna do this haul from High Street and I'm gonna end up with my designer items okay so my first item that I got is actually from Forever 21 you guys know I am not snobby bitch I don't care if something is cute I really don't care where it's from you know depending on what it is I will buy things at forever 21 I shop at Zara all the time so you guys are gonna see some cute high street type of items here so the first one is actually this cute little romper oh my gosh look at this this is from forever 21 how gorgeous is this print of this fabric I mean doesn't get any more summery than this right and like the back is kind of like a halter style kind of deal I bought this guys to make this kind of like my PJs you know when I'm inside the hotel room so I can look cute and I can still film and look presentable but when I tried it on it looks so cute that I'm like oh maybe I should wear it outside but anyway so this one was $15.90 I mean how adorable I put this with like a cute actually with this extra necklace right here you know kind of like a choker style boho style necklace actually in my boho today or what look at this I'm gonna fly so I actually put this romper with this cute little boho necklace that I just got at Francesca's so they were having a sale and this was like four dollars and 98 cents guys super cute chokers Crystal and I went crazy and we bought a few for our trip and it looked adorable you know with sunglasses you know in cute sandals or like flip-flops so I love it next item is this gorgeous top so I have been looking for a beautiful top you know these tops are so in right now guys like off the shoulder with the super fluffy sleeve look how gorgeous this is this is actually kind of like a see-through sleeve and it has like this little detail on the breast and what I love about it it's that you can actually tie it at the waist and make a cute little bow oh my gosh I got this from a store from Instagram actually called Alpha Omega and I will put a link um, in the info section below you guys but this store has the most adorable things and this was my pur first purchase from them so I wasn't really sure about the quality but oh my lord you know when I buy things from Instagram guys I typically check if the store is based out of the US or it's based out of China I do not know how many experiences you guys have with China clothes but I have been there and I have done that and it is just ridiculous you see this gorgeous photo and you see this ridiculously low price and then you order and you get the item it looks nothing like it looks on a picture it does not last through one wash so anyway I actually am thinking about doing a video where I do a bunch of orders from China and I'll show you the photo of what it looked like on the website and what the 
clothes actually look like i thought it would be a cool video for you guys that are looking for things that are not very expensive that you can take a look at and get some ideas but also use me as a guinea pig so you can see which ones are good and which ones are not anyway so this store is definitely not from china the quality is great and what i love about it guys here in the bodice of the top it actually has like a hard little structure on the inside to make sure this stays straight in your waist I thought that was such a nice touch. I am in love with this brand. Next item is actually a pair of shorts that I just got at Kohl's. Yes, that's right. And this, the brand is actually Mud. Oops, right here. This is so adorable, you guys. Actually, right here, let me show you. This is actually see-through right here where the, where the pocket is. And it actually has like a little detail underneath with like this cute little kind of lace looking detail so actually you can wear it and let kind of like the lace poke out you know from the shorts like so or if you don't like you know the pockets showing below your shorts a lot of people don't like this look you can still hide it i'm not gonna lie to you guys i i kind of hate kohl's <laughs> i really do not like shopping there i feel like they are such a scam so here's what kohl's does they put a product for sale they really put like a pretend price and say oh this short is 70 dollars and then the product is always on sale you know so when you get there oh this short is on sale from $70 to $39.99 I look at that I'm like these shorts were never freaking $70 this is like a pretend price and then so you can pretend that things are on sale all the damn time whenever you go to Kohl's everything is always on sale because it's a scam I do not like how they operate but Crystal and I were killing time the other day and we went to get some Starbucks and we were waiting on Scott to finish working out so we're like whatever this is all that's around here let's go into Kohl's and I tried these and they look so cute you guys and this was like $14.99 I ended up getting a great deal because you know right now is end of the end of the season sales so I got the sale of the sale of the sale Crystal also got a couple really cute things so there you go that's my cold score you're probably not gonna catch me there in the next five years next purchase is from free people <sighs> I love free people are you guys aware like are you familiar with free people as a brand so free people is a complete bohemian type of a brand they make the most gorgeous dresses tops if boho is your look you have to check them out i mean i am typically not a boho girl but because my trip to greece you know it's super hot you want to look flowy and cute you know i'm not going to be cruising around in high heel louis vuitton shoes looking all edgy and rock and roll i mean just not gonna fly right so i had to go boho and i'm actually kind of falling in love with the boho look so i had to go after free people stuff so this is my first item that i got from free people it's actually a cute tank top how flipping cute is this so you have the v-neck so a little bit of cleavage going on to make sure you look super cute and sexy and then what i love look at the side guys it is actually super tight right here on the waist but you have this ruffle that goes all the way from the top of the top right here all the way to the bottom so look how cute this bottom right here looks hanging on your cute denim shorts or like skinny jeans how adorable is this okay this is not cheap free people is not exactly cheap you can get their stuff on sale and get some amazing deals but i'm in a rush because i'm leaving for greece this weekend so i really did not have the luxury of looking around and researching prices so i had to buy full price and this right here was 88 dollars next item is also from free people and i think this is my favorite dress in the past few years this dress is so gorgeous I tried this at Lord & Taylor guys they had one left and it was a size 4 and I tried it on and it no fit yes it was too tight everything was exploding I needed a size 6 I could not find this dress anywhere else I was able to locate it and it was on sale at Lord & Taylor unfortunately didn't make it happen because it was too small I was able to get it But again, this is another free people dress. Look how gorgeous this is, you guys. 
totally boho and let me show you the detail right here the lace is actually transparent woohoo sexy right so this right here kind of covers most of your breast but you can kind of see through and actually on your waist see you can actually see through your waist as well so oh my gosh so cute and sexy this fits like a glove i cannot tell you it hugs you in all the right places it's tight on the waist and then super flowy at the skirt so it really gives you that you know hourglass figure i mean look at the ruffles right here on the side okay i just died when i saw this dress so this dress was 168 dollars kind of impossible to find right now i will put the link to the little boutique in maryland that i was be able to locate this from if you guys like it i mean you have to run it runs true to size so i'm really a size six and it fits me like a glove let's get now to the more high-end items right so one thing i will have to show you is actually fendi Woohoo! it's a clothing item look how cute it comes in the fendi dust bag adorable right so since we are gonna go hiking in greece there is a beautiful hike that you do in santorini where you go all the way to the top and you see all the beaches the whole island and you know i mean for hiking i have to be comfortable guys so i had to get a pair of leggings and i wanted to get a pair of leggings that were styling and profiling so look at this i got myself a pair of fendi leggings how cute is this with cute black tennis shoes so i have these super cute high top chanel tennis shoes let me show you right here so this is my cute chanel sneakers you know high top super sporty how adorable is that they are super comfortable so i thought it would be a perfect match with the with the fendi leggings and guys these leggings they fit so nicely i ordered this online i was a little scared you know without trying them on i'm always scared the elastic band is going to be too tight on my waist and then the fat's gonna jump out you know so i took a chance on this and it looks amazing and white is kind of tricky but i was like i didn't want black you know because i didn't want to look too dark you know this is a summer trip i'm going to be close to the ocean so i took a chance with the white i was afraid that the white was going to show all my flaws in every single cellulite and it doesn't this fabric is so amazing super thick look at the waistband right here how gorgeous right and then you have you know the black detail that hugs your legs and then on the side you have the fendi logo so you look super cool and super fashionista next item is a louis vuitton item i have been wanting this for a while guys well first of all let me give you the good news you guys a lot of times have been complaining about the quality of my videos you know the image doesn't look sharp and the sound is kind of weird and that is because i dropped my samsung so it was like totally cracked and i think it really affected the quality of the footage and it affected the integrity of the phone and i just took forever to switch because you guys know transitioning phones is such a pain right you gotta redo all your contacts all your apps your photos i have all my videos for my vlogs on my phone so i postponed this as much as i could until i could no longer so for your pleasant surprise i got myself an iphone <laughs> I am very happy with my purchase. My Greece vlog is going to look banging with beautiful images for you guys because I have an awesome phone now. And since I got the new phone, I wanted a cute accessory from my phone. So Louis Vuitton. Woohoo! This is something I have been wanting for a long time. So let's do a little opening, but I'm sure you know what it is since I'm talking about phone. So there you go. I got myself the Louis Vuitton phone case. Ah, how gorgeous is this, you guys? This thing is so solid, so heavy. Let me show you the inside. It says Louis Vuitton right here. And let me show you how it opens. It actually detaches like so. So it's actually a two-part case. So let me put my phone in here for you. But it's actually quite easy so you stick your phone in here like so bam and then you put you know the top part like so slide it in and then at the back it snaps together boom 
And there you go, you have a high styling phone. I mean, guys, I use my phone for everything. I realized this cover is ridiculously expensive, but I was thinking, I use my phone for everything. I film with my phone. I go to all these high-end boutiques and I'm all, always filming with my phone when I travel. I mean, the way I justified this to myself and convinced myself this was a worthwhile investment was that, Erica, this is for your channel so you look cool when you're filming. So I did it. You know, a lot of people are like, ah, I couldn't justify the investment. I'm probably going to be switching to the iPhone 8 next year. And yeah, if you are an iPhone freak and you get the latest one every time one comes out, this is the price of a bag, you guys. So you probably don't want to go there. But for me, I when I buy a phone, I typically keep it for like two to three years I only got rid of the Samsung because it's broken otherwise I would have kept it for another two years gladly so since I just got this iPhone I'm probably gonna keep this baby at least for another two years so I thought it was a worth investment to look cute when I'm doing my filming and taking my photos and my selfies for you guys you know do it in style so there you go next item is also a clothing item from Fendi and these are these Fendi shorts that I got for the trip. How cute and fun is this, you guys? I am just so excited about it. Look how cute this is. And the print is super fun, so I can match this with any top pretty much. I am thinking to walk around there. I can put this with a super cute bodysuit, either white or black or red, or really any color your heart desires. This one also fit like a glove. I am so pleasantly surprised with Fendi athletic wear. Just incredible, you guys. And then inside, what I like is that it has like shorts inside. So let me show you. Right here you actually have the outside layer, right? And inside you see the black, that's actually another short, which I love, do you know why? Ugh. My legs rub, like my thighs rub on each other. It doesn't matter how skinny I am, guys. I could be a stick and my thighs still touch. I know, big people problems, right? So it's kind of funny because like in Brazil, you want your thighs to touch. Like in Brazil, when you have a thigh gap, it's considered ugly. You're too skinny. You are stick. It's like a negative thing. You want your thighs to touch. So I used to be so proud when I lived there. And here's the opposite. You know, you want to have a thigh gap to look cool and skinny. And you want your jeans to have a space in between. And now I'm not cool no longer. But hey, I'll never be able to get rid of this unless I do plastic surgery. And I'm definitely not going there, guys. Okay, last but not least is a YSL purchase. So this is a pair of shoes I got from YSL. I actually ordered this directly from YSL.com. I will put links to the products below. I'm not sure if this is still available actually. So I'll find it and I'll put a link to wherever I can find this. But let's do an unboxing together. And as you can see here, whoop, sorry guys, everything fell. Anyway, so this is the receipt from YSL. And then it comes with a little booklet. And then the dust bags, because you can tell this is a pair of shoes, right? So here is what I got pair of YSL booties. Let me show you. Ta -da! So there you go. These are my brand new YSL booties. I really wanted something that would complete my boho look and I feel like you cannot be truly boho unless you have a super cute pair of boho booties. So these are the ones that I chose. I was contemplating the Givenchy ones or the Chloe ones. But I did not want one with a lot of detail because the, the Givenchy has a lot of like metal detail and the Chloe one has all of these like uh, these little like dots, you know, the little metal dots. I'm drawing a blank on how to say that in English, but they have like all of these metal details all over which make it kind of busy. And I thought mm, maybe if I wear that with a pattern, you know, it's going to be too much pattern, too much busyness. So. I, when I saw this, I thought this is a perfect color because I can wear this with light dresses, dark dresses, pattern dresses, it really doesn't matter. They have a black version as well, but I thought if I got the black one, it really wouldn't look cool if I wear like a white dress, right? This matches my skin perfectly. And look how cute the detail, guys. It says YSL right here. 
and I love it because it is a nice detail but it's still kind of discreet does not make it too busy Crystal when she saw this she fell in love she's like mom I want one too I said well I'll get you like a knockoff version <laughs> but anyway I already tried these babies with some of the dresses I got for Greece and they look so cute you guys it's funny because this is something I normally would not buy you know because you guys see me either as ultra girly or edgy but you know what I feel like that's the fun of fashion you gotta have an open mind and you have to be willing to experiment and try new things and have fun with things that you normally wouldn't so I am actually very excited and once I started trying this on with the denim shorts and cute tops it's kind of like it opened a whole new door of outfits and looks that I can do for you for my videos or when I go out so I am super excited let me know what you guys think but I am so pumped with my cute booties so there you have it guys so this is my pre grease haul I will be making super cute looks for you guys to see I actually leave this weekend so I am in countdown mode and I am making sure that I prepare videos to release while I'm gone so stay tuned because I will be releasing my Zara haul so on top of the things that you saw here I definitely got a few things at Zara both on sale and regular price so I have a whole separate video just for my Zara items so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching guys I always love hanging out with you and I'll see you on the next video don't forget to like and subscribe bye bye